10 best places to visit in Angola. Hello explorers, welcome back to another exciting video and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be taking you to the land of mystery, Angola, and we shall be showing you the 10 best places to visit in Angola. Officially the Republic of Angola, it is a country on the west coast of Southern Africa. Angola is bordered by the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the Republic of Congo, which are to the north and east, Zambia and Namibia. With a population estimated of about 31 million people and a surface area of about 1,246,700 million square kilometers of surface area, Angola is the seventh largest country in Africa. Its capital city is Luanda and the official currency of Angola is Angolan Kwanzaa, while the official language is Portuguese. With a history of civil war and threats of illegal poaching, Angola has a past it is doing a lot to grow from to make a better country out of itself than it has been in the past years. If you are new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Angola is the plethora of natural and beautiful surroundings and environment as the cities located in Angola are so beautiful and mesmerizing sights to see. These include reserve of natural tropical forest, pasture land, beaches and animals. People come here very often from time to time to get spellbound by the scenic and natural beauty that Angola beholds within itself. Some of these places draw in both national and international tourists who come to get enchanted. So without any further ado and in no particular order, here are the top 10 best places to visit in Angola. Number 1. Ayona National Park The largest national park in Angola, the Ayona National Park, is situated in the most southern west point of the country and covers an expansive area of over 15,000 square kilometers. Although the national parks were hit hard by illegal animal poaching during the civil war, efforts to replace and restore the wildlife in the park are on the way. Besides animals such as springbok, ostrich and cheetah, the park is also home to indigenous people who, according to scientists, are the most culturally intact people on the continent. So if you're looking to tap to the roots of the original culture of Africa, Ayona National Park is a must go to place. Number 2. Luanda Luanda is the modern city and the capital of Angola which overlooks the Atlantic Ocean. There are many seaports present in this city where the ships hold which makes it hard for the charms and uniqueness of the city to fade away. Luanda is full of star contrast which is extremely attractive sight to see. The beautiful Atlantic Ocean views are disrupted by busy ships and the high-rise modern looking buildings contrasted by hot buildings to accommodate people in the rapidly expanding city. Overpopulation is apparent in other ways too, namely the insane morning traffic and the stench that regularly troubles the city. Despite all these problems however, Luanda certainly has its charms and is another side to Africa that is worth experiencing. Number 3. Dilolo Lake This mythical lake can be found in Mexico in the eastern part of Angola. It is the largest lake in the country and serves as an important tourist spot. Despite being situated just outside the Kamea Park boundaries, the lake is teeming with wildlife including rare bird species and aquatic life. The lake is impressively 12 km in length and sits at roughly 1000 meters above sea level. The reason for the meat surrounding these lakes are the unusual waves that always head to the east of the lake. In folklore, these waves are believed to be a supernatural force to scare people from fishing in the lake. If you fancy a dip in the lake, September is the best month with pleasant temperatures of 32 degrees Celsius. Whether you are in Angola for business, pleasure or as an explorer, ensure that you visit the Lolo Lake and enjoy the mystery of the African magic. Number 4. The Tonda Vala Fisher The Tonda Vala Fisher is one of the most spectacular sites that is situated in Angola. The feature is located at a height between Lubango and Namibe. The Tonda Vala Fisher is perfect for hiking and many people can be seeing sightseeing in areas near it. Savanna grass and forest landscapes are aplenty in the Tondra Vala Fisher which makes the scenery even more calming and refreshing. If you are not visiting a site like the Tondra Vala Fisher when you are at Angola, then you are missing a wonderful destination which can give you an unforgettable moment of your life. Number 5. Benguela Benguela is an important storage destination located in Angola. The early economy of the city was established on mining, then the slave trade of Cuba, Brazil and recently tourism is actively being promoted in the city. The main attractions of the city are its beautiful oceanside location, coupled with the breathtaking Portuguese architecture. The beaches are fantastic places to unwind and the people are very friendly. The international railways are located nearby the place and so it becomes a main center for tourist attraction. Even though the Portuguese architecture is the main thing to watch in the city, but you will not live without suffering beautiful beaches, landscapes and an environment which is extremely luxurious. The people of the region are also very friendly and welcoming to anyone they meet, which gives you a homely feeling around there. 
So Benguela is a site that must be visited when you are listing a tour to Angola. Number 6. The Ark Lagoon The Ark Lagoon is a wonderful oasis located within Nabib Desert near the town of Tomwa in the southern province of Namibe in Angola and is famous for the various rock formations in the lagoon. The lagoon takes its name from the stunning natural arc rock formations that have been shaped by nature over many years. More than offering the opportunity to view these amazing formations, the lagoon is a great place to relax due to its tranquil nature and peaceful surroundings. While relaxing at this oasis, visitors may also glimpse some of the rare and exotic wildlife species that inhabit the surroundings of the Arc Lagoon. The lagoon is locally known as Lagua do Arco do Calvalao and is one of those magnificent, unique and walk of art natural environments that keeps calling. Number 7. The Lobito Lobito is known for the export and harbour location in the region. There are numerous beaches situated in the Lobito where it is exclusive to see the sunset and spend some quality time. The Portuguese buildings are a treat to watch. Restaurants are many where you can get a taste of the cuisines famous in the region. Restinga in Lobito is a slightly small 5km long island with little traffic which is sometimes a problem in the island. The sands and waters are cleaner than in the capital city and, as always in Angola, warm. As expected, you get unusual restaurants and bars but less massive than Luanda, the capital city. The Lobito is a mossy place in Angola. Number 8. Dala Waterfalls Situated in Lunda So, the Dala waterfalls are about 60 meters high and conjure a spectacular scene with the mist and spray created from the crashing of the water on the rocks below. The waterfalls can be comfortably viewed from a bridge near the base of the waterfalls or, for those who truly love the scene, a hotel is built only 15 meters away from the waterfalls. The waterfalls, also referred to as the Chimbe River Falls, should not be confused with the Kasengo Falls which are smaller but situated in the same area of Angola. The water that comes crashing in the rocks is a grand feat to watch in the Dala waterfalls and captures the heart of the visitors visiting Angola. Number 9. Kisama Only a 70km ride south from Luanda is the Parc National de Kisama, a wildlife sanctuary that has utilized stunning natural settings to protect and preserve many African species. The park began life as a nature reserve in 1938 and subsequently evolved into a national park in 1957. During the Civil War years, the park was neglected and fell victim to poaching, but its population of buffalo, elephants and even sea turtles are now going strong. The park even received 10 elephants by air mail from Russia in 2000. The park is definitely a paradise for lovers of nature and wild beasts. Number 10. Mayombe Forest The Mayombe Forest is one of the most spectacular natural areas in Angola. It boasts more than 400 square kilometers of forest and is rather fittingly referred to as the Amazon of Africa. The forest is a fantastic location for wildlife lovers with hundreds of rare species, many of them unique to the area. Animals include gorillas, elephants, chimps, rare birds and butterflies. The woods in the forest are equally as rare as the animals and include ebony and mahogany. The biggest town in the reserved, Buko Zao, has a small guest house with basic facilities for those wishing to fully immerse themselves in the nature and spend more than just a day. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 best places to visit in Angola. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave your suggestions in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.